Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. If you are new here, I make videos about books. Um, it's been a minute, I've been kind of on a hiatus trying to adjust to a lot of life changes that have been happening, but I'm trying to make a comeback. I'm trying to make videos, I'm trying to be con more consistent again, and we'll see how that goes. But I'm trying, that's the, that's the, the main point of this. Um, so, something I used to do with my channel was I used to do seasonal TBRs. Um, I kind of stopped for a minute because I realized that I felt like I wasn't reading as much as I wanted to be. And I realized that I have been reading a lot more than I think I've been reading. So, I figured maybe I can just do a short seasonal TBR for you all. Um, I know I already posted my end of year TBR, but with my seasonal TBRs, they're month based and not season based. Hopefully that makes sense. So my winter TBR would be December, January, and February. So it goes past the new year, which is why I figured I could go ahead and make this video too. Since I already posted my end of year TBR, that's what I'm going to be trying to focus on by the end of this year of 2021. But this TBR is going to go past that. So usually I have my jar of popsicle sticks and I pull from there. But I realized that... I wanted to do something different. I wanted to change up my TBR videos, mostly because it just wasn't really fun for me anymore with the sticks. Um, I felt like I was putting a lot more pressure on myself by like pulling them and having to stick to them and all that kind of stuff. I just wanted a little break. And I love filming my TBR videos, so like that's when I knew I needed to change it when it wasn't fun for me anymore. So I've been watching a bunch of different TBRs all over booktube just kind of to see what I wanted to do. I didn't really want to go far and make a game because that's a lot and I don't think I have enough brain power for that right now. But I wanted to do something more than my sticks. So I saw Riley um, Marie's TBR and I like the idea of prompts. So like I feel like every, every TBR I've seen uses prompts instead of specific books sometimes. So I figured I would give that a try and just use like a jar of prompts which um, I've written down a bunch here and I put them in this jar and I think I'm just gonna stick with that for right now and see how I like it. Maybe I'll come up with a penalty or if I don't finish the prompts um, but I kind of like how much more freedom the prompts give you because you can choose whatever book but yeah we're gonna go with that. Hopefully I'm making sense in this video because I'm kind of just rambling at this point. I'm I think I'm going to only choose five prompts since this is new and I haven't really filmed a TBR video in a minute besides my end of year TBR. I'm going to try and mix them up. I kind of filled this up maybe too much, but I was kind of excited. Yeah, and so my plan is to pick the five, read them out, and then my bookshelf is in my room, so I'm going to go over there and bring out the books that I think could work for these prompts and then we'll talk about them. So. Let's get started, I guess. Okay, let me, I guess, try and mix these up. I don't even know how to do this because these are big pieces of paper. Let's pull the first one. Let's do this one. Alright, this is... Alright. Ah, there you go. Chanel's pick. So I kind of was having fun with these, well, make these prompts, and I was like, you know what? I have a group chat of friends who are also readers. Let's give them some say. So I kind of just put their names in this jar, and I was like, they get to pick a book for me. It doesn't have to be from my physical TBR, but yeah. So that's my first one. Um, while I'm going through this, I'll text Chanel and... I guess see what she recommends. If she can't think of anything right now, I'll probably just maybe film an extra clip later and tell y'all what she picked. Next prompt I'm gonna pull is, let's do this one. Oh, if it doesn't make it fall out. Ooh, I didn't think this, I might need a bigger jar than I thought. Okay, so let's see. The one I pulled was this one. Next is, there you go. Read a Lee Bardugo pick or book. So I added in props for specific authors that I just have a lot of books from that I have not read yet. Um, so yeah, Lee Bardugo is one of them. I have a good chunk of her books and I have not read all of them. So 
that's what I'm going to be doing this winter is picking a book of hers and reading it. Alright, let's do another one. I'm just going to pick from the top here because this is a lot of work. Alright, let's see. So, let's see if it works this time. Read a book that intimidates you. Ooh, that can be anything. So, okay, we're going to go with that. Um, so that's three. I need two more prompts. Let's see, we're gonna, can't mix it up like I did with my sticks, so just pull from the middle here, I guess. I'm not doing that one. I just leave it that up. So keep picking that one. Okay. Ooh, everything's falling out. So let's see if it'll work. To read a Sarah J. Moss book. So... Same concept as Lee Bardugo. I have a lot of Sarah J. Moss books that I have not read, so now I gotta read one. Wonderful! Okay, so that's four. Last one, and it is... Oh, perfect! Okay, read a manga. So that's actually perfect because it makes things easy for me. Alright, so I'm gonna go find some choices um, for these prompts and then I will be back to talk about them so BRB so I'm back with my pick so I picked a few options for each and then I'm just probably gonna decide right here on what I decide to choose um, okay so for the prompt for Rita manga I chose um, between the King's Beast volume 1 which I believe this is about a girl who pretends to be her brother or just a man in general to get vengeance for her brother who died in the Imperial Army. Um, so it sounds really interesting and it's kind of like a shoujo love story. I know it's kind of... I'm trying to make sure you can see this because I know it's the light. There you go. So, I don't know, it sounded interesting when I first heard about it, so... I'm kind of going to go with that. So next one I have is um, The Water Dragon's Bride. This has been on my shelf for a minute. Um, to be honest, I kind of fell in love with it because of the colors of the cover, like the pastels. I really enjoyed that. So I believe it's about this girl who meets a water dragon god. Uh, and I guess he kind of claims her as his bride or something. I don't know, but... I'm kind of here for it. And the last one is one that I bought recently because, so, they're reselling the anime. They're not rebooting it, but they're reselling it, which, it's a really, really old anime and manga, honestly, and I'm super happy they're rebooting it, and it made me, like, buy the set of manga so I could read through it and then watch the anime too because they kind of have different endings. But it's Kodocha Sana Stage Volume 2 because I already read Volume 1. I fell in love with this story like so many years ago. It's about this little girl named Sana who goes to, she's in middle school currently and she's a child actress. Her mother is like a well-known writer and uh, she has her own, she says quote unquote bodyguard slash manager but he's this guy that Sana ended up helping a few years before when she was younger and he just kind of stayed by her side as like an older brother brother figure for all those years. She gets embroiled with this boy named Hayama who is making her middle school class terrible for her because he keeps harassing the teachers, disrupting class, and so she makes it her mission to basically insert herself into Hayama's life in order to get him to stop and from there um, their relationship kind of deepens from like friendship to maybe a little bit more and it's just a really sweet story. I love that it talks a lot about um, such different serious topics so it talks about adoption it talks about um, a parent's death and grief and how people handle that grief it talks about um, homelessness and um, what it means to truly be kind to someone and I don't know I just really liked the story and I'm, I'm just really excited that they're um, bringing the anime back so if you ever have a chance to watch it you should because again it's it's such a beautiful story it's like up there with fruits basket for me to be honest out of these three I think I'm gonna do 
honestly, manga are so short, I think I'll just do all three and call it a day because there's such, like, short stories that I'm, it's no stress just to try and read through them all. So I'm going to do all three um, and go from there. <laughs> so the next one I did was Sarah J Maas and um, a Sarah J Maas book. So I have all three of the first books in each of her series or whatever they're going to be. I have A Court of Thorns and Roses because I have not read this book. I've heard everybody rave about it, but I've not read this book or this series. So I went ahead and bought the box set to see what everybody's hyped about. People said that if I enjoyed kind of Jennifer Armentrout's books, that I might enjoy this. Maybe not because it's like such a good written book, but because of just it's a fun read. So I'm hoping that's the case for me. I hope I enjoy it for the most part. Um, but yeah, so th this is an option. And then I have read Throne of Glass, but I want to reread it because it's been a while and I do actually eventually want to finish this series and see what all the hype is about. So this is an option too, just so I can reread it. And then the last option I have is uh, House of Earth and Blood as well. I would like to read this before the next book comes out next year. And I think it comes out in February. But yeah, the only thing with this one is it's also on my books I would like to read by the end of the year of 2021. I don't know if I'm actually going to read it before then. But it is on that list. So I don't know. I'm a little hesitant to like pick this one for both of those. I mean... It could work. I think I'm gonna wait to reread this because this series is already done, so I'm not in a hurry. Hurry. I think it's gonna be between House of Ruth and Blood and A Court of Thorns and Roses. I don't know which one I want to choose though. So maybe I'll ask my friends and see which one they pick. Honestly, if y'all want to leave your uh, opinions down below I will definitely take them into consideration on which one I should pick more I kind of want to choose this one because it is smaller but the sequel for this one comes out in February should I try to binge read it before then I don't know so I guess I'll leave that to you guys and everybody else I ask all right next I have a book that intimidates me so these two technically don't really intimidate me, but I have been putting them off just because of like some things I've heard. So the first one I got is These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. I kind of want to just go ahead and read this because I already got the arc for the second book and I got the physical one, both of them from Simon, so also thank you to them for sending me that. So I'm like, it's already done, so I could just go ahead and read it and then move on to the second one and read that too. But the other one was the Midnight Bargain by C.L. Polk. So this one is a standalone, I believe. So I could just get this run and done and not have to worry about the sequel. So it's kind of between these two. From what I understand about this, I think it's a Romeo and Juliet retelling based in Shanghai. That's, and there are monsters killing them. That's, that's kind of all I've really know kind of all I really want to know going in I don't really want to know too much and then this one is I believe it's about a woman who lives in a society when where only men can really truly practice magic like women can study it until they get married and have kids and then they have to basically submit to the men as like the magical magic holders in their world and this woman doesn't want to do that she wants to study all of her magic she wants to live up to her potential and be great at it and she ends up I think making a deal with someone to get this powerful book and she's like a competition for it like she makes a deal with this man who's trying who could help her get it I think I don't know it's something along those lines but it sounded interesting and this cover is very very pretty to me so I'm gonna go from there. Also Cell loved this book so I'm gonna take that as a, as, a, as a good sign for me. So let's see which one do I want to read more? You know what I think I'm gonna do these Violet Delights to go ahead and get it out of the way go ahead and read it and see how I feel that way I can decide if I want to read the second book and it's not gonna sit on my shelves for forever. We're gonna go with that. Second to last one is a Lee Bardugo book. I've already read the Shadow and Bone trilogy and I read Six of Crows. I'm kind of in this mindset where I want to go in order of her books being published because I'm a weirdo like that and so the only next logical step for me is to read 
Crooked Kingdom. Now, I've been told to skip this and just go ahead and go to King of Scars, but I just don't know if I can do that. <laughs> I mean, y'all are welcome to give me your opinions on whether I should just go ahead and skip to this or not, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and, and move on to the next step which is Crooked Kingdom, and then go from there. Personally, for me, if I'm reading a series, I don't like skipping books. I like reading them in order, like, one and done, because skipping around just makes me itch. <laughs> Unless they're, like, different companion novels, then I don't mind that. Uh, but if it's a direct series, like... I texted Chanel about her pick. She hasn't gone back to me yet because I think she's at work anyways. So once she gets back to me, I will definitely try and add a clip in here at the end to kind of let you know what she has picked for me. So that is my winter TBR, I guess. Uh, I hope I, this was interesting enough for you all. Um, hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you like this new style or if I should just go back to my sticks if you've been watching me for that long. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for sticking with my channel for this long. I know it's been weird with the hiatus and all of that. Hopefully you guys will continue to stick around. If not, I totally understand, but I would like you to stick around. <laughs> if you like the video, go ahead and give it a good old thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave all those in the comments section down below. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are all some flowers in a world full of weeds. Okay, bye. Alright, so Chanel got back to me with her pick. Um, and she chose Furyborn by Claire Legrand. Um, I just got this, so that's kind of funny. She said that she DNF'd it, and so she wants me to read it so she can decide whether to pick it back up or not. So, we'll see. Um, I don't really know much about this. Um, let's see. When assassins ambush her best friend, Riel Dardin risks everything to save him, exposing herself as one of a pair of prophesied queens, a queen of light and a queen of blood. To prove she is the sun queen, Riel must endure seven elemental magic trials. If she fails, she will be executed, unless the trials kill her first. One thousand years later, the legend of Queen Riel is a fairy tale to Aliana Faracora, a bounty hunter for the Undying Empire. Aliana believes herself untouchable until her mother vanishes. To find her, Eliana joins a rebel captain and discovers that the evil at the Empire's heart is more terrible than she ever imagined. As Rael and Eliana fight in a cosmic war that spans millennia, their stories intersect and the shocking connections between them ultimately determine the fate of their world and of each other. Alright, so that's Chanel's pick, so this is what I'm going to be reading. And then also, I decided, with the help of my friends, to go ahead and just choose House on Earth and Blood to uh, read for the Sarah J Moss pick. So, um, mostly because this is going to be on my end of year TBR, but I wanted to give myself a little bit more time just in case I don't get to it um, and put it on my winter TBR so I can go ahead and read it before the sequel comes out. So, let's hope I can do that and follow through. But yeah, so this is the quick clip just updating y'all on what I have and what I decided, and that's that. Okay, bye. So I've already read the Shadowhunter trilogy. Shadowhunter trilogy. Really, Alana? Alright, don't know if that's gonna actually go into this clip. You can hear it in the silence. <laughs> you can feel it on the wheel. You can see it with the lights out. You're in love. True love.